to do one that had three parts. Okay, this one has three sections, and you could use the method where you fill the whole area in and then subtract parts, but you would have one, two, three parts. I think this one's just as easy to divide up into sections. So I wanted to do one with a triangle. This one actually has two triangles. So let's see if we can figure this one out. Okay, the area of the rectangle is just 10 times 15, which is 150, okay, square meters. Now this triangle, remember the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So we need to know the base of this triangle, which we do because it's parallel to this piece. So that's 15, and the height, well the height inside here is eight. So let's multiply that out. We've got 15 times eight, and then we divide that by two to multiply by half. It's the same as dividing by two. So that section is 60 square meters. So we've got 150 for the bottom and 60 for this top part. Now let's find this third, this second triangle, the third piece of the puzzle. Okay, this is a right angle. So I'm looking at a right triangle. This height right here is parallel to this one, so that's 10. So 10 times 9, all times a half, one half base times height. So that's going to give me half of 90, which is 45. So now let's add those up. 150 plus 60 plus 45. Let's see, that's 105. So that's 255 square meters and that is our answer to this problem.